Hi everybody, this is Dr. Dan from BME245L. One of the things you're going to have to do this semester is get used to counting cells. We'll count cells two different ways in 245L. The first way is using a hemocytometer, which works well when you're pathogening cells and when you've already removed them from the flasks, but many times you're going to want to count how many cells you have without disturbing them. So I'm going to show you one way to do that um, by taking a picture of the cells and then counting them in image J. So to do this, you obviously need image J installed, which I'm assuming you've done. Um, I've opened, started up image J here, and I've opened up two files. One is a picture of some cells at 5x magnification, and the other is a picture, picture of the hemocytometer slide at, also at 5x magnification. Now if we take a picture of both the slide and the cells at the same magnification and the same, uh, they're both in focus, that means the scale will be the same between the two. So we can use the hemocytometer slide to set the scale for the image so we know how big of area we're measuring. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do first to set the scale. So for the hemocytometer slide, we know that this distance across one of these boxes is one millimeter wide. And so now we just want to see how many pixels it is. So we can use image J to measure that. So first thing I'm going to select is a line. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line that should be exactly one millimeter long. And I can press the control M button to measure that. It brings up the result window and tells me it's 2100 pixels long. And so I'm going to make several measurements um, so that I get uh, a more accurate uh, count on this. So I'll go ahead and do that. I can draw another line and press Control M. And so I'm following the, um, the lines in the hemocytometer slide to make sure I'm actually drawing perpendicular lines when making these measurements. Okay, I could also draw them vertically if I wanted. That's probably good enough. So I'm going to bring back that window up. And so I got four measurements, all about the same length. So I can hit results and summarize. And under the mean, so what it's telling me is that 2105 pixels equals one millimeter. And so we can set the scale using that. So if I go to analyze, set scale, okay, we know our distance in pixels, so it filled it in because it's doing with the last line I drew, but I'm going to put that average as 2105 is going to be one millimeter. So I could do this in millimeters. I could also do it in micrometers. It's, it's kind of up to you. Um, I could put a thousand micrometers, which would just be UM instead of MM. Okay, the other thing I want to do is make sure I click this global button. That means it will apply the same scale to every picture I open. Okay, now we can look at our slides and see that we're looking at an area of 1.85 by 1.23 millimeters. Now I can start counting cells in this picture to figure out how many cells are growing per square millimeter. So I find it pretty convenient to use the built-in uh, cell counter in image J. So that's located in plugins, analyze cell counter. Okay, the first thing you have to do is initialize it. Um, and it will open up like a new window. So what I want to do is I usually put the keep original on there so that it's going to draw some annotations on my picture. And so I don't want to ruin my original picture. So I hit that keep original on there and I hit initialize. Okay, it opens up a new picture. And then I can start counting. And so really the way to start counting is I click, okay, I want to type click one, and then you just click on every cell in the picture. Okay, so I can click on each cell, and you can see it puts a mark there, and so you can keep track of the cells you counted and the cells you haven't counted. Now sometimes it's hard to tell what's a cell and what's not a cell, so you just kind of have to be consistent. Um, some of these circular ones may be dying, maybe just now attaching, it's hard to tell. The other thing you got to be careful of is to be consistent um, as far as counting, because you can't count all the cells that's just touching every single border. And so what I usually do is count all the cells that are touching the left and the top border and ignore cells that are touching the right border. So I would count this cell over here. I'd count these cells up here on top. Okay, but I wouldn't count some of these cells that are, that are touching the bottom. Um, and that way, uh, when we do our count, um, we have a more accurate count. 
and you can see all the I'm, I haven't counted all of them but as I click on each cell it's adding up the number of cells it found so if I clicked on all the cells we would get a total count of how many cells you have and after you get that count you can calculate cells per area and then multiply uh, by the area of the flask get the total number of cells in the flask and so I would just make sure you take pictures of several areas of the flask and average the counts because there can be variation in how many cells are growing across the flask Okay, that's the basics of counting cells with ImageJ. I have one more video with a couple hints, and I'll show you how to put a scale bar on your image.